You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There is no 5K. There's no, there's no um, I'm going to get into school to be this or that and still perform to the highest level. Because what people don't get is one day that thing's going to come up. And if you're not constantly performing without purpose, you're not going to be ready when the time comes. So the reason I get up every day, even though there's no race or there's no school, there's nothing in front of me, is because I have pride in myself. Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. A lot of people, you know, wonder, how did you become this? How did you become so vulnerable? How, did you be, how are you doing a podcast now when you were this kid? You overcame things. You fought them. And now this is what happens. This is on the other side of overcoming. It becomes, you become very, very powerful when you overcome yourself. I want to be the standard. Like if you go to whatever, whatever company, they, they have this mission statement on how we want to run our company. I made one for myself on how I want to be. And that is why if people can make up a mission statement, an ethos in which they want to live by, and every morning you wake up, you hold yourself accountable to that mission, not a company, it's your own. Make up your own mission statement. What do you want to be in life? And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. You'll never stand for anything.